Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So, as we all know, Fortnite Android recently dropped on a couple of selected devices, and as most of us know, it's not really running the best. No matter what device you have, the chances of it running really well are pretty slim. But the question is, how can I improve my Fortnite so that it can actually become playable? Well, do not worry because that's what we're going to do today. Today, guys, we're going to give you a couple of tips and tricks to make sure that your Fortnite and device are running better than ever before so that you can actually enjoy the game we've all waited for for so long. With that, guys, let's get into it on how to improve the performance of your Fortnite Android. So the first tip we're going to give you is a really simple one, which probably most of you will know. However, it's some that just some people forget and it really makes a difference. And that is to make sure that your phone is clean and has memory. Alright, so there's a number of different ways to do this. Of course, you could download some app from the Play Store to clean your device. You could delete things manually or there's even a way you can go to in your device settings. And that's what we're going to quickly show you. So go to the settings on your device and go all the way to device management or device manager or phone manager or anything along the lines of that. Anyway, once you click on something like that, it'll give you a ton of different options. Now, of course, not all phones will have this. However, most of the newer Samsung and newer devices will have such a feature. So just go check in your settings. It may have one. However, if you do not have a built-in cleaner, then just go download something from the Play Stores, which we will probably give you a couple of recommended ones later. All right, so as you can see, my device actually has one. It has the storage, and it says that I can free up to one gigs. So just click fix now, or whatever it is on your device. Maybe it'll be clean. Maybe it'll be wipe. Okay, well. Just wipe the bad stuff, of course. And basically, once the phone is done that, it'll clean up some of your space on your phone. As you can see, by doing this, I've cleaned up a total of 9 gigs throughout the lifespan of this app, so it really does help. It also makes sure that your device is optimized and running well, so it's a good tip to try and boost up the speed of your phone. And if you go ahead and search device cleaner, this is only if you do not have a built-in one. Once again, I normally recommend the built-in one since it normally works the best for your device. However, if you do not have such a thing, there are tons of options available on Play Store. A few of the best, obviously, being Clean Master, uh, AVG Cleaner, Norton Clean, Device Cleaner, CC Cleaner, Turbo Cleaner. All these things work, even APU Security. Uh, will also work. So yeah, there's a lot of different options. RAM booster. As you can see, there's tons of different apps that you can choose from, and they all do help a bit. They don't help too much, and they don't work as well as the built-in device um, cleaner. However, if you don't have such a thing, these are a good place to start. My number one option would be this one. However, you can choose whichever one you want. And then for the final option to clean stuff on your phone, once again, you can always just simply clean stuff on your storage manually. For example, deleting big videos, deleting games you don't use anymore, files that you may not use, downloads, anything such. Try to get a lot of storage on your phone and that'll definitely help. All right, so the next tip we're gonna give you is the one that's gonna really help. Now, often this is on most newer end devices and for older devices, this may not be an option. However, if you do have new devices, you can do it. And if your old devices do not have it, well then, there's just nothing you can do about this tip. This tip will be invalid. However, if you got a more generally a modern, more modern device, it should have a feature like such one. Anyway, we're going to about to show you another tip, so let's go right into it. So what you can do to unlock the special feature that we're talking about is just basically go to your settings, and then once again go to device maintenance, maintenance, device maintenance, or phone maintenance, or whatever you call it. Maybe it's device manager and we click on it and they'll often often have a thing called performance mode or type of mode that you can use So click here and as you can see it gives you many different types of performance modes that you can use on your phone As you can see you get an optimized one Which is just your everyday thing you get a game one you get an entertainment one and you also get a high performance one All of these work for different instances where you may need to boost up your phone so since Fortnite is a game, of course, we'd like to put ours on game and by doing this, it'll bring you up a various number of options. So from here, it will allow you to increase your brightness 
by a certain amount of percent so that you can actually see your game better. It also allows you to do the very vital thing in terms of choosing the screen resolution. So since most of you may be dealing with lag, I may recommend that you choose the lowest screen resolution that you possibly can. As you can see, when I'm using the performance mode gaming, I always set it to HD since it is the worst resolution, so it's the most least likely to make you lag. Doing something like WQHD or FHD is more likely to cause lag. So anyway, once you turn to HD, what you're going to want to try and do next is go and see if your phone has a built-in game launcher. As you can see, I have the option to enable a game launcher, which will help improve the performance of your games even more and help you organize your games and give you extra bonus features. So what you're just going to then do is apply that on and then finally apply it and make sure it's all on then you'll do a little bit of loading and then you will be in game mode which will make your device faster during game so another quick easy tip that you can use to improve your performance is make sure that your phone is plugged in when playing intense games like fortnite this helps boost the performance and will also stop a bit of lag so whenever you're playing a heavy game like Fortnite and if you have the chance to charge it while playing then do it because it will help the performance a bit. Now it may cause your device to get a little bit hotter but the performance will improve slightly. And of course that is of course that is not for all devices. Some devices may not get hot when charging and playing games, but for some it will get a little bit hot but it should generally improve the performance. Okay, all right, let's go to our next tip. And our next tip is to go into the game launcher. So as you can see right over here at the bottom, that is the game launcher that was pre-installed with my Samsung Galaxy S7 device. Now, of course, some phones will have built-in game launchers and some may not. But if that is the case and you do not, we'll also show you guys a couple of suitable launchers to download. Anyway, we're going to start off with the built-in game launcher. Alright, so as we can see, if we go into this, it will give you a various amount of options. Of course, you can fiddle, fiddle with the game tools, you can fiddle with the game sound, you can also fiddle with the performance. And as you can see, by tapping here, you will be able to change the type of settings that you want to use. For example, you could set on focus on power saving, you could set on balance, or you could set... Uh, on performance for focus on performance to make sure that it can, your phone uses all of its power to make sure the performance is the best and of course that's what you want so make sure it is always on game performance or high performance you always want it to give the best possible performance that it can then basically all you're going to do from the game launcher is click in fortnite and it will basically boost the game and then it will allow you to start playing the game in a boosted now, of course, not everyone will have the built-in game launcher, so that is where the downloadable game launchers come in. So, of course, if you go to your boy Play Store and search game launchers, a ton of options will pop up. So, as you can see from here, there's a various amount of game launchers that you can download and install, and that they will all allow you to boost your games when you play them to try and increase your performance ever so much more. I recommend Game Launcher Tuna. For boosted performance this is the one i have and it seems to work the best however there are also uh, many other good options another good option is the game box launcher beta for samsung also another very good device booster if you are willing to try it out also gives you very good management over your apps so another very recommended choice but of course, all of them should work quite well. Wait, 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 what's Minecraft doing here? Then basically, once you download the game launcher, what you're going to do is click into it. And then it will give you an option of boost. So what you're going to do is just click boost. And then basically, once it's boosted, you'll see it's boosted me by 1,658 megabytes. And now all you have to do is click on the game you want to play. It will make sure it's boosted. And after that, it'll bring you into the game. And our final tip is to always make sure that you don't have many tabs running or other apps running. Alright, so be sure that you Fortnite's the only tab running at the time to give you the best performance you can for the game. And that is basically all the tips that we have for you guys today. Of course, the last one and most important one is to simply just wait. Fortnite Android is still in beta and of course it's still going to be a little bit laggy and buggy and it's not completely been optimized for all devices as of yet. So once again, patience is key and just make sure you wait a bit and eventually over time it should be optimized for enough for your device 
so you can actually get some good gameplay out of the app. But that's basically all we have today. We hope these tips will help improve Fortnite for you and give you the ever so slightly better performance that we also desperately need. If you guys need any help or questions about how to improve Fortnite, comment down below and we should be able to help you. Also, the download links of the apps that we're using will be linked in the description below if you guys are interested to try it out below. But anyway guys, that was it. We hope these tips do help improve your Fortnite and we hope over time Fortnite will definitely be optimized and become the greatest potential it can ever be on Android. But that's all for today. We hope these tips helped you and with that being said, leave a like if they did and with that, farewell.